Consider this my annual reminder that the best notes app out there is already on your Apple device and you don't have to pay a subscription for it. In my first Apple Notes video, which you all seem to love, I went over some of the best Apple Notes tips. I showed how simple and easy it is to use and how well it works with all of your Apple devices. But there were some pretty basic features that were missing in Apple Notes. Well, I'm happy to say it's perfect now, and these are the features you need to know about. And stick around until the end, I'll show you the secret for your Apple Pencil handwriting to turn into text. You can finally collapse and hide different sections of a note. So anything with a title, heading, or subheading can be collapsed. I'm gonna use my Apple Pencil for a lot of this, just as a pointer to make it a little bit easier to see. You'll see a little arrow next to the heading and you can just click on that to hide or reveal the section. So you would do that by highlighting whatever you want as your title, pressing the AA at the top and then selecting heading or subheading. And then it becomes a collapsible section. And if you're on your Mac, you can also do that by right clicking or using the keyboard shortcut shift command H to turn it into a heading. You can also finally highlight text and in different colors now. So all you have to do is highlight the text, hit the AA again at the top, and you can highlight and also select the different colors of the highlight, which is something I am very happy finally exists. And again, on a Mac, the keyboard shortcut for highlighting is shift command E. You can now also record audio, which is great if you want to record a lecture or even a meeting. So you can hit the paper clip at the top of the note, record audio, tap the record button, it'll start recording. You can also swipe down to have it record in the background if you want to get back to your note. But there are some cool options. So if you open it back up, one, you can rename it. So if you did want to name it like lecture one or something like that. But to the left of that, you'll see a little chat bubble. You can click on that to get a transcription of the note live. So it's actually transcribing what I'm saying right now. Then if you have a device with Apple intelligence, you can also press the summary button and you'll get a summary of the transcription, which is pretty neat. And then in your note, you'll see a little box of the recording with a preview. There are also some really incredible math note features, which I'm very disappointed did not exist when I was a student. You can type out any equation as normal. And now the second you hit the equal sign, it will reveal the answer. And you can do the same thing with currency and units as well. The second you hit the equal signs, it populates the answer. Plus, if you were to define any variables and then use those variables in an equation, it'll give you the answer to that also. And arguably even cooler is it also works with the Apple Pencil. So if you prefer to write out the equation like you would on a scratch pad, you can do the same thing. The second you put the equal sign, it'll give you an option to solve the equation. And if your device has Apple intelligence, you can press this button at the top to get these AI writing tools for the entire note, like have it proofread, rewrite it, make it sound friendly or more professional, or even turn your note into some key points or a table. And at the bottom, if you hit compose, you can even just describe what you want to write and ChatGPT will write it for you. If you only though want Apple intelligence to proofread a certain section, you could just highlight the text of that section and hit writing tools to see the same options. It's honestly pretty cool. If you hit proofread, it'll take a second to analyze and read all the text and you can click on the arrows to go through it and override if you want. If you go to the ellipsis at the top, you can now go to recent notes to quickly jump between any of the notes you've been working on. This one's an incredibly long time coming. You can finally add notes to a reminder. So if you hit the share button at the top, make sure it is on send a copy at the top instead of collaborate. You'll see the reminders app. If you don't, just scroll over to more, hit edit, and then select reminders from the list of suggestions. And then once you hit reminders, you can change the title like if you want this to say homework, for example, you can remove anything from the note that you don't want included in the reminder. And then if you hit details, 
You can set a date and time for the reminder. You can add any tags, flag it, and even select which of your reminder lists you want to add it to. I would still like them to add something native or built into the Apple Reminders app, like a due date or deadline scheduling, but this is pretty good for now. And then when you go into Reminders, you'll now see the reminder with the little note icon so that you know that's where it came from. And if you hit on the note icon, it brings you right back to the note. So this is great for homework deadlines, project deadlines, anything like that. Scanning documents and text to add them into your note also got a lot easier. So you would once again hit the paper clip and then to start, let's do scan documents. Then I'm gonna switch it over to manual or else it'll automatically start taking pictures. Then if I wanted to scan the cover of this book, I would just line it up and press the capture button. Then I'd say keep scan. I can now do the same for the back of the book, line it up and take a picture of that, keep scan. Then you'll see at the bottom, both of the scans, I'll click save. Then it adds both the scans together into the note and you can just pinch to make it a little bit smaller. But let's say you don't want to scan an entire page. Maybe you just want a little bit of text or a quote. You can hit the paper clip again, but this time select scan text at the top. And this way, it just adds a little window at the bottom. I'll line up the little bit of text and it'll populate at the top. Once it's good, I hit insert. And then instead of taking a picture, it's just added the little quote I wanted to my note. So I find both these options are great and quick and easy if you wanna add a PDF to one of your notes or just quickly add a quote from one of your favorite books. Now your bonus tip, I was asked how to do this quite a few times in the last video because you can take your Apple Pencil and of course write anything with the Apple Pencil and now it'll actually clean it up to make it a little bit more legible. But if you want it to turn into text and not leave it as handwriting, what you would do is go to the markup tool at the top and select this pen on the left that has the letter A on it. With that selected, when I write hello, it converts my handwriting immediately into the text. If for some reason you don't see this option, head on into your settings down to Apple Pencil and make sure Scribble is toggled on. Let me know if you liked today's video by leaving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more videos like this. And that's it, have a great day, bye.